Hello everybody, this is Rowler Wolf once again. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Kerbal Space Program getting started uh, to show you some of the basics. You can see the planet Kerbin in the background of this menu system. It's detailed, great. Uh, we'll resume save to my Rowler Wolf LP. Save game is here. My daughter's is on the top. I think she just typed in some random stuff. Uh, I haven't played too long on this game yet in this new version. I've pretty much restarted everything. Okay, here's the main space center. We've got the space plane hangar over here to the left. Uh, you can build space planes, airplanes, and you launch those off the runway. The vehicle assembly building in the center is where you build your vertical rockets, uh, multi-staged rockets. You can build stuff to do uh, space stations and the like. You launch those off of the uh, launch pad over here. And over on the right we have the tracking station. You can uh, click in here, and I'll go ahead and do that. And if you had any flights in progress, they would be shown on the screen. You can see the icons of your uh, vehicles orbiting. Or if they've landed on somewhere, it'll show that too. This is the Kerbal Solar System. We have the Sun in the center. Moho is the very center planet. It's kind of like Mercury. We have uh, Eve outside of that. Uh, Kerbin would be Earth. Duna is kind of like Mars, Jewel is on the outside, and in between Mars and Jewel we have an asteroid-like body. It's actually more of a planet. We can actually zoom into it so you can take a look at it. It's kind of like if all the asteroids had combined into a planet. It's one of the theories of how the uh, asteroid belt came to be. It was either a planet that didn't quite form because of the gravity pulls of the other planets, or a planet that had been destroyed and scattered. Uh, I don't think they'll ever add a full asteroid belt in. The physics engine is pretty intense as it is, and I don't know if it could handle that many bodies in the solar system. Uh, you can also access all your flights in progress over here on the left. There'll be a list of them. Alright, but we'll go back in and enter the vehicle assembly building. Alright, here's where you're going to assemble most of your aircraft. The first thing you need to do is pick a command pod. This will be the main brains and uh, astronaut holding unit of your rocket. <laughs> Alright, uh, the top three are all airplane cockpits. You have uh, two single man cockpits here, one with a nose built on, one that you can add your uh, custom nose on, and then a three man uh, airplane capsule right there. The next two in the center are the normal capsules for rockets. You have a three man and a one man. And next to that is a two-man lander can. It's a, a capsule to be used to build uh, landers, like lunar landers. And on the bottom we have probes. These are unmanned, so you can uh, send these up without worrying about killing your astronauts, which you will probably do a lot. I know I will. Uh, you can also add these on to other spaceships. You can send up a rocket, send off a probe to go explore somewhere or something like that. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick a single man rocket capsule. Alright, now here's the parts. There are two pages on this first page. This is propulsion. To the left or back to the pods. You can add more pods if you want. But propulsion, you have your fuel tanks and your rocket engines and your jet engines. Uh, some other fuel tanks and parts. There's another page to that one as well. There's a lot of parts in this game. In the control tab, you have your the brains of your rockets, pretty much. You have uh, SAS modules, which uh, are computer controls to help you keep your rockets stabilized. This is a, an avionics package. It's for the airplanes. It's kind of the same thing. It's kind of a computer brain to help keep you straight. And then here are some uh, RCS thrusters. RCS is a uh, reaction control system. That's what they use on uh, space shuttles and uh, satellites to help. It's uh, not a rocket engine, but it propels uh, gases to help control you in space, kind of orients you. It doesn't use much fuel, so it's uh, really efficient. It's good for orienting, for docking, and uh, just basic, basic in-flight control. Alright, over on structural, you've got all kinds of things. You've got, uh, this is where some of the nose cones are. Adapters to go from smaller rocket pieces to bigger rocket pieces. Uh, let's see. Uh, Multi-point connectors. There's like, uh, to hook up docking ports. 
you've got stack decouplers. These separate the stages of your rocket. We'll get into that later on. And uh, structural pieces like uh, scaffolding and uh, gantry. Let's see. The next page is arrow. This is where your wings are uh, and nose cones. Uh, and air intakes for some of the jet engines. You'll need those if you're going to build an airplane. Utility is where you have landing gear, ladders, docking ports, batteries, solar panels, all of your electrical kinds of things, and uh, accessories. And then over in science, you have a few specialized scientific uh, instruments. You've got an accelerometer, a thermometer, a gravioli detector. It detects the uh, gravitational pull of uh, certain bodies, and uh, barometers as well as a couple communi communication antennas, but they don't really have a function in the game yet. These other ones you can send up on a probe or on a ship, kind of land that at a planet first so you can tell what kind of gravity it has, how it compares to Kerbin, and uh, so you can better plan your flights. Another important feature is the symmetry mode down in the lower left hand corner. Right now you see the little dot that's just single, so if I pull a fuel tank out, put it on my ship, it just gives me one. Now if I were to put that to two or three, yeah we'll start with three, grab another fuel tank and now it puts three around there, equidistant, balanced, so that's a good way, it's an easy way to balance a ship when you're building it, building out a bigger ship. You can go all the way up to eight, but uh, there's also an angle snap so instead of uh, by default it's on, so you see, oh, I'll turn symmetry off. All right. If you try and place this, if I move over a little to the left, it kind of snaps over. And I think there's eight different points around the ship that it'll snap to. If you turn that off, you'll be able to slide it around as much as you want and do more complex uh, organizations of your ship. All right. And you move parts around in the uh, vehicle assembly building by clicking on the part and releasing and then just moving the mouse around. It's kind of like a click to grab and then a click to drop so you don't have to click and hold. You just click on it, move it, then click to drop it. So if you bring another piece in, you just click on the fuel tank. It'll come in, attach to your mouse. When it snaps into place, you click again and it uh, puts it on your ship. Now if you want to sell a piece, you click it and you can just click back over on this menu somewhere and it'll uh, sell it back. Right now, money's not really involved in the game, but uh, they do have uh, prices on all the parts, but it's not implemented. Then, if you want to scroll up and down to see the top and bottom of your ship, you use the mouse wheel. If you want to zoom in and out, you hold shift and use the mouse wheel to go in and out. And if you hold right click and move around, it'll pan your view around your uh, ship. In the next video, we will cover building our first rocket, putting that up, and then I'll just get into some Let's Play uh, playing around. Alright, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.